Hey, what's up fellas? So I had this idea. Just spray some fire into a tube and atomize some water with a spray nozzle and bam, you got a steam cannon. So, how well did that work out? I wanted to see if we could boil water without a boiler. Nope, you need a boiler. Check out these coils moving. Next time I design a boiler, I'm definitely gonna remember this. So, we're just firing this thing up. Um, not having a boiler on there made it very inefficient, no matter how much you atomize the water. There's just too much cooling power in vaporized water, or atomized water, I should say. It cooled down the exhaust gas so much that it was, we just needed to use up some of that waste heat on the burner there. So we're getting a huge amount of steam shooting out of this thing. It's about 90 degrees outside today, so we're not gonna be able to see the steam plumes very well. Um, I'm just running this thing kind of on low to see how it does. And there's so much exhaust gas mixed in with the steam that you really just can't see it very well. It's not, right there it was, but uh, it's not as visible as it could be. This right here is just water vapor. We're still warming up. We've just fired this thing up. It's gonna take a second to get that whole tube red hot. Once the tube's red hot, it does start puffing out some steam, but like I said, it's um, very diluted because of the exhaust gas. That's not really a big deal in the event that you would want to autoclave an entire like milk truck tanker or some large object that just needs some steam shot into it. I think this would be a very good way to autoclave very large areas. I got it on turbo right here. I wanted to see what max throttle would do. And it um, was a lot of steam and a lot of hot exhaust gas. So this would definitely work out for some large farm equipment. That's how much water I was boiling. But it's just too much power for Ken's project. He's got uh, an autoclave a little bit smaller than my shop. So too much power here. So let's take another look at these boiler coils as they're moving during heat up. I definitely need to consider this kind of thing when designing this stuff. Very interesting. Here's another quick look at it. It's, you just barely catch it, but look how fast that moved. So this thing puts out a little bit too much exhaust gas. The temperatures are a little too high for what Ken's doing. So. We're back to the drawing board here. We're just gonna go with a propane only mono tube boiler that separates the steam from the exhaust gas. I was just trying to save some money by using the exhaust gas as part of the autoclave heating. No sense of wasting it, seeing as how it can kill mold. So that's where we're at. We're gonna shelf this bad boy and uh, try something with a little bit less exhaust gas in the steam.